Good morning, God bless you. I'm Apostle Jonathan Hall, and I will be addressing the topic of paradise. When Jesus from Luke 23, verse 43 said, And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. As we know, he was talking to the thief on the cross who had a revelation of who Jesus was. As the other thief complained and wanted him to take them down from the cross, the other thief said to him that uh, this Jesus had, was innocent. And we were worthy of our punishment, but this Jesus was innocent. And he asked Jesus, he said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Hallelujah. And Jesus replied unto him, as we just read, today shall thou be with me in paradise. So I want to talk to you about paradise for just a few minutes. We know that paradise is not in hell. <laughs> paradise is somewhere above hell and below heaven and we can find that out from luke chapter 16 verse 22 when jesus told the story about the beggar and the rich man hallelujah and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into abraham's bosom the rich man also died and was buried. So we know that both men died and the angels carried the beggar unto Abram's bosom. And in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seeketh Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. That's how we know that the paradise was not in hell because he had to lift up his eyes from hell in the place of torment to see Abraham and the beggar in Abraham's bosom. So he had to look up. Hallelujah. And besides all of this, between us and you, verse 26 of Luke chapter 16, the Bible tells us, there is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from this. And so there was in hell, you could not get out of hell. So paradise could not be in hell because those in paradise eventually left there to go to the prepared place that Jesus prepared, which we will talk about very briefly and in a short time. Hallelujah. And so it was fixed. It could not be changed. It was fixed. The distance was large and no one could pass from one side unto the other. So we know paradise is not in hell and it is far above hell. We know that Abram and the beggar was there. So we know that two people were there. And we know this by the scriptures. Now in John chapter 14, verse two, we know that paradise had to exist because Jesus had not yet gone back to the Father and prepared the place for the believers, amen. And in John 14 and two, we see this. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for the believer. Hallelujah for you, the Bible says. We know that it was not in heaven because Jesus was going there to prepare a place for the believer. And so paradise is a place where the believers went. Hallelujah. Yes, we see the rich man, he went directly to hell. <laughs> but those that believed, and you will probably find Moses and many other, other saints that believed hallelujah, in paradise. We know Abram was there and the beggar because the Bible tells us so as Jesus was teaching. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Hallelujah. And so we know that Jesus is coming back eventually to take all of us that are believers to be with him. And so, now after Jesus' resurrection, we see a change in paradise location. 
going to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, where Paul talks about, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body, I cannot tell, or whether out the body, I cannot tell. God knows, hallelujah. Such a one caught up to the third heaven, hallelujah. And I know such a man, whether in the body or out the body, I cannot tell. Verse, 20, uh, verse 3 of chapter 12, and then verse 4 said, how that he was caught up into paradise. So paradise is always up. Hallelujah. He said how he was caught up into paradise. And so we know by the reading of Paul, Paul's writing, that paradise, hallelujah, is around the third heaven now. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. And then just to wrap it all up, Jesus himself put the finale to it. Hallelujah. Finally, Jesus locates paradise in heaven with the tree of life in it. It is the destination of those who have ears and hear what the Spirit is saying to the church and overcome. Get that? And overcome. We read that in Revelation chapter 2, verse number 7, where Jesus is speaking to the churches. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And so, knowing these things, my question to you, is paradise your destination? If it is not, let's take this time to make it your destination. How do you do that? Confess Jesus to be Lord and that you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Paradise is the believer's destination. Come on right now and confess Jesus to be your Lord. Hallelujah. And then confess that you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and make paradise your destination. God bless you. We're praying for you.